Hi everybody, I'm Danielle Jameson and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick story time video. This one's kind of interesting, kind of weird. So, this particular story happened all the way back in 2010. This happened the very first time I went to America, to Orlando, Florida. Whether there was myself, my mum, my dad, my nana, my granddad on my dad's side of the family, and my cousin. So there was like six of us all together. And it was a lovely holiday, really enjoyed myself. It really opened my eyes to different cultures, the different way of life over there compared to over here in the UK is just, it is just amazing. We were staying in a villa and the villa we were staying in was gorgeous. It was in a lovely location. Unfortunately, I can't remember the name of it. If I do remember the name of it when I'm editing the video, I will just kind of leave it down here somewhere. Um, but it was gorgeous, lovely place. I would definitely recommend it to anybody who wants to stay in a villa for their Orlando, Florida holiday. We were staying for two weeks, so 14 nights. And as usual, you know, going to America is like a really, really big deal. It's a big holiday for the majority of non-Americans and there's so much to do over there. Every single day we were doing something new, something different. We did all the theme parks, we did a couple of the water parks, we did NASA, we did a hot air balloon flight, we did a helicopter ride. My dad did, what do you call them, those things where you do like crazy stuff in an airplane when you do like the loops and the crazy shit whatever that's called he did that so it was really just the holiday of a lifetime but one night something was kind of weird um we'd got in i can't remember what we were doing i think we were doing one of the theme parks and we got back home to our villa late tea time we had our dinner as normal we kind of chilled for a bit and then we all just kind of went to bed the layout of our villa, I'm just going to try and give you like the best layout description as I possibly can, but this might fail. But basically, front door, you walked in, you had a washing machine, dryer room, straight on on the right hand side, and then that room went into the garage. If you went further on, you then had the kitchen on the left hand side. If you walked a bit further on, you'd have like the living room and then all of the bedrooms and the bathrooms coming off it so basically our villa had four bedrooms and then we had out the back we had the private pool and like just some like sun loungers and whatnot say the living room is here one of the bedrooms were off to this side and this is the room where my nana and granddad were staying in that was the ensuite room on the other side was my mum and dad's room where they were staying. That room didn't have an ensuite, I don't think, but it did go off and it had like French dolls out into the private pool area. And then this side down here would be where mine and my cousin's bedrooms were and then where the bathroom was. Yeah, that was the layout of our villa. If you didn't understand it, I don't blame you. I'm not good at kind of describing things. So yeah. But basically, this night we were all asleep, we were all in bed, and let's just say my dad just started kind of acting weird. And still to this day, I cannot figure out what his mindset was, why he did what he did, and why he reacted the way that he reacted. As I said, we were all asleep. My dad was asleep, my mum was awake but asleep. Uh, my mum really struggles sleeping, so uh, she wasn't sleeping. I think she was like, trying to get to sleep at the time but all of a sudden my dad suddenly just wakes up wakes up out of the blue and he starts shouting and screaming someone's in the villa someone's in the villa i'm gonna get him i'm gonna get him and he starts like throwing punches kicking he starts wandering around the room he's like looking around i mean it was just pretty crazy this was totally out of my dad's character so we were all kind of like what the hell like my mom was trying to calm him down but she just was not getting anywhere. At this point, my nana and granddad woke up and they rushed into the room to try and figure out what was going on and they saw my dad just kind of throwing punches, throwing kicks, shouting and screaming at the top of his voice. I think at one point he actually went over to the French doors that go out into the pool area and he was trying to open them but they were locked so he couldn't. I mean it was really weird. Myself and my cousin were still asleep but he was throwing punches, throwing kicks, he was shouting, he was screaming. He genuinely did think 
that somebody had broken into the villa. No one had actually broken into the villa. He must, did he have a bad dream? I don't know. He, whatever, we just couldn't figure out what's going on. Eventually, everyone got my dad calmed down. We were trying to just kind of digest what had happened. Thought someone had genuinely broken into the villa and it was like, he was really, really scared for not just himself, but for his family as well. The next day, things were still a little bit weird. Even my dad, like himself, just was not able to comprehend what the hell had happened that night. Personally, for me, I think it might have been the heat bothering him with being on the go all the time. It's kind of difficult. Uh, we were going during quite a hot month as well. So maybe it was just the heat bothering him. We were doing loads of stuff every single day. We didn't really relax. Obviously something had styled him. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section what you think was going through my dad's mind when that happened. I mean, what? If you're new here, make sure to click on that subscribe button. I do hope you've enjoyed this little story time video. I know it's nothing too fantastic, but I just thought that it was a really weird story so I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. See you later!